Well, the scaffolding along Block 22 in Pittsburgh is no longer wrapped around certain businesses. It was put there to prevent accidents from falling cement. Now, businesses say it looks much better and customers are returning. But that wasn't the case during construction. KOM's Lonnie Walton takes us to downtown Pittsburgh for the story. In the month of September, my business was down 53%, which is a lot. <laughs> Melissa Lewis is the owner of Poppy May. She says she's got a lot of help with her business during the Block 22 construction, but she says she's still suffering. Can't, you know, no one can make up for the loss that we experienced as small business owners with that much going on. Co-owner of Toast, Roger Horton, says some customers didn't even know they were open. You see all that scaffolding up, unless you see five people walk in, why would you know it's open, you know? So Not only did it put strain on a lot of businesses, parking was another issue. The hassle of, well, I got to find a parking space around the corner because all the spaces are filled up with construction work. Students who live on a block say they love the open space. It feels pretty good because like parking's back and everything. Um, but now it's like open and like the sunlight shining down on the open door. And Lewis leaves us with a few words of wisdom. If you want small businesses to stay in your community, you have to support them. You have to shop them. Reporting in Pittsburgh, I'm Lonnie Walton, KOAM News. Now Lewis says she plans to participate in various community activities to help bring more business to her store.